Hey, in this tutorial, I will show you how to increase the color intensity in adding a glow effect to your photo from something like this to this. First, we're going to change the color space to increase the saturation without destroying the overall tone value. So let's go to Image Mode LAB Color. This will switch the color space from RGB to LAB. Your channel will now be made up of lightness channel A and channel B instead of R red, green, and blue. Unlike RGB, LAB is designed to imitate what people see. It separates the light and dark from the colors where L is the tone and light and dark value. And channel A represents magenta and green and channel B represents the yellow and blue. It allows us to change the color without changing, making any change to the overall tone value. So go to the bottom of your layer palette and click on the adjustment layer. Select curve. On the channel you will see lightness A and B. Select the A first. Drag the right side of the curve in and you will see the magenta is intensified in your photo. And let the left side adds green which brings the photo to a richer magenta green hue if you balance both sides out. Uh, same for channel B, bring the right in to add yellow and bring the left in to intensify like the blue. And when you balance both sides, you will, s you will now get a higher saturation photo with the tone being the same. Now go to lightness channel. This represents the over light and dark value so we can increase the contrast by giving it more S-shaped curve and now you can uncheck the preview to see the difference and when you are done and you're, you're satisfied with the result um, click OK. You can play with the opacity of the curve layer to lower the saturation if it was too much for if it's still too much for you. I'm going to bring it down to about 50. It's usually easier to make the the adjustment a lot more uh, exaggerated and play with the um, opacity later on it's easier I find it easier that way select okay now we're gonna merge the these two layer by selecting both of them and right click and select merge layers now go back to the image mode and change the color space back to RGB color drag the background layer to a new layer icon to duplicate it let's make the flower sharper without touching the background so to do that um, with the duplicate layer still selected, go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharpen layer to sharpen it. Use 150 for the amount and 7 for the radius. Click on the mask icon. And now your sharpen layer has a mask icon next to it. Everything that's white will show, but if you paint this mask black, wherever it's black, it will become hidden. The photo will become hidden. So click on the mask to select it and make sure there's a black border around it. That's how you know um, your mask is, is selected. And let's paint black around the flower so that only the flower of this sharpened layer will show up. So to do that, I fill the entire mask with black and painted the white over the flower area instead. So you can see where there's the background is all filled with black and the mask uh, mask icon so that the back all the backgrounds are showing the original background and only the area where I painted the white which is the flower will have will show the uh, sharpened version of it you can go ahead and um, turn down the opacity if you think it's over if you sharpen it too much now let's add some glow effect to the flower to give it a more dreamy quality. So I will take a snapshot of what we have so far by going to select all and copy merge and paste it. It will copy everything you see on your canvas so far instead of just whatever uh, layer that's active. So now let's go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Use about 10 pixel and let's intensify the white area by going to image, adjust, and level. 
you can click on the auto button and let Photoshop uh, correct the exposure automatically. Now you'll see there's um, it's more it's a lot brighter and let's blur it one more one more time. Assigned um, for this layer, assigned lightened colored blending mode and turn down the opacity down to about 49 or wherever you feel that would fit. Now you'll get a nice glowing blend. Go back and play around with the blur and opacity of if you want a different feeling. Now let's adjust the overall color by going to adjustment layer icon and select curve. Make sure this curve layer is at the very top of all the other layer. Go through the channel and play around with all the channels until you're satisfied with the result. And that is it. Here is what we have before and what we end up with. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please subscribe to my video and visit my website at sanwing.com. Thank you.